Hello, welcome back to Autopilot at Work. If you've been following along, you know that we're working on a task to email a summary report every month. Instead of writing codes, I have decided to use UiPath to automate the entire process. In part one, we have fetched the data from SFTP server. And in part two, we have created a pivot table from this data. Today, in part three, we are going to email the report as an email attachment. So let's jump right in and finish the workflow. We're going to create the last part of our workflow where we're sending the Excel file as an email attachment. In the last two videos, we have successfully created the first two parts of our workflow, where we first fetch the data from a SFTP server, and then we created a pivot table using the Excel file that we fetched from the server. And now we have to send that Excel file with the summary report to an email address. So what I need for the next activity is an activity called send SMTP mail message. In this step, I'm going to use a third party SMTP server called Mailgun. You can use any other SMTP servers and there are plenty of free SMTP servers out there. You can just Google it. Um, one of the popular one is the Gmail, um, the Google SMTP server. So I'll go to my Mailgun account and then under my domain settings, I can create multiple SMTP users and I've created a new one for this video and I'm going to use this email address as my sender email address and then also as my login. So first I'll just put in the recipient of this email and I'm going to put in my email address. And then the subject line, I'm just going to put in summary report and then the, the body text in the email. I'm just going to put this is the report. And then the main things we're going to do now is to make sure we set up the SMTP credential correctly. So first we need to specify the server, which is the SMTP server of Melgun. So that's all the information under the SMTP settings in Melgun. So Next thing I'm going to just put in the server and then for the port. So this server is listened to a few ports. So I'm just going to use 25. And now put in my login details. Oops. So 
So the login details will be under your SMTP credentials. So I'm going to use the logins I have just created for this. And then I'll just put in the password for this. So once I have the logon details, I just need to put in the sender details, which is going to be the email address. I'm going to use the same email address. And then the name can be anything. I'll just put So you can put, um, if you want to CC somebody, you can put the email address of the secondary recipients of the email. I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. And that is all you need to send the email using Melgun. And let me run the workflow and we'll check the inbox to see whether we receive the email. I just realized I put in the wrong email address, so I'm going to rerun the workflow. then check my inbox okay I have successfully received the email oh no gosh sorry I forgot to attach the file the most important things okay so at least the this shows the SMTP server is set up correctly and the next thing we need is to of course attach the file so I'll need to attach the Excel file from my folder and don't forget the extension of the file And then let's run it again. Okay. Let's see. Oops. Voila. I have successfully sent myself the Excel file as an attachment and then this is the summary report that we have created in the last video so that is all we have successfully completed all three parts of the video and that's it we have successfully automated the entire process of fetching the data, creating the pivot table, and then sending the report as an email attachment. This automation process is going to save you a ton of time each month and also ensure that your report is always on time and accurate. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. I'm here to help. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. 
and stay tuned for more automation videos. Until then, see you next time. Ciao.